So I spent last night with one of my friends, Dan Ackerman, thinking of jokes I could use to open up my speech today. But when I got home, I saw an email from Donna Mursky that changed my entire opening. Donna was the mother of a fraternity brother of mine who passed away last year. Most people who know me know that I'm not an emotional person, but that email opened the floodgates and I couldn't help but cry for a while. I want to dedicate this speech to Alec Mursky, to his mom, Donna, his father, Rich, his sister, Alyssa. I would also like to dedicate this to every other member of the tribe who left us too early and was not able to finish the journey we are completing today. Do you ever find yourself walking with a pebble in your shoe? This happens to me a lot. I've tried many things to make walking more comfortable, but nothing has worked. I still find myself pausing to remove pebbles from my shoe. I brought this up in a phone conversation with my dad one day. He joked, maybe it's life conspiring against you to make sure that you're always unsettled. Thanks, dad. For three years, his joke remained buried in the back of my mind, but what was a sarcastic thanks three years ago became a genuine one when I started writing this speech. Thanks, Dad. You see, college has placed many pebbles in our own shoes, from bad first dates to emotionally draining dialogue on mental health and racism. College affords us a chance to break out of our comfort zones. We can confront the pebbles in our own shoe by acknowledging opinions different than ours. We must engage with the world around us to learn anything at all. And to engage with that world means challenging our own beliefs. These experiences help us become well-rounded people, but they may also cause us to retreat further into our closed-minded perspectives. Unfortunately, I've seen too much of the latter during my time at William & Mary. I myself often falling victim to it. We have all used college to focus on our future careers or even sometimes as an escape from reality. For me, it was mostly the latter. I cared about world issues, but I was not acting on my concern. I was more focused on having fun. This is dangerous because I can suspend reality, but it doesn't mean that issues such as mental health, homophobia, drug abuse, or sexual assault does not exist. I can refuse to direct attention to this, but it does not change those realities. It is a dangerous way to live, to know and to care but not do anything? University, William and Mary especially, gives us the ability to act on so many issues close to us. But I was selfish and I shirked my responsibility. Sometimes we avoid conversations because we are afraid that we are wrong or that we will displease someone. And while that is a natural inclination, it was not the point of these last four years. This is not to say that strong opinions are unacceptable, but what is? is letting those strong opinions stop us from learning, from growing personally and professionally. The college provides these opportunities, but we sometimes separate ourselves, leaving them untapped. We need to change our views in light of good arguments and evidence. We need not come to college to reinforce what we already believed. That would be a waste of both time and money. But we limit our exposure from the friends we have to the news we read to the classes we take. Somehow we have found a way to live life free from necessary challenge, free from necessary tension, and free from necessary discomfort. But like I said, this is not the reason we came to college, and especially not the reason that we picked William and Mary. College is a place to be vulnerable and challenge our worldviews. It is an important process meant to pass our beliefs and assumptions through a filter. If we have never been forced to defend our beliefs, then we are not truly educated. These conversations may prove that your beliefs were right, and they may prove that you were wrong. We will not know unless we listen. We came here to have that challenge, to encounter that tension, and to feel that discomfort. We should come away from the college knowing how to question others, but also ourselves. So, what we walk away with from William and Mary? A diploma, a new perspective, a souvenir from the Greenleaf? I'll tell you what I'll take away. In addition to the hold on my account, I will, walk away. <laughs> I will walk away proud to have a pebble in my shoe, proud to have been challenged by my experiences at the college, 
I will embrace this pebble as a way to expand and develop my wisdom. And I urge every one of you to do the same because we will be better for it. The pebble is not a reminder of our limitations, but a representation of what can be. We are graduating from an institution that places us in the best position to mold a better world. We are carrying a 323-year-old baton passed through courage and action. Let's not drop it because we are afraid to untether ourselves from our comfort zone. William and Mary has given each of us a pebble. Here at the college, we have begun the rest of our lives. As we embark on this next chapter of our journey, we need not take our pebbles out. Walk with the pebble. Walk with the necessary tension. Walk with the discomfort. As my dad said, the pebble is put in your shoe by life, there to unsettle you. Class of 2016, we must accept life's challenge by walking with our discomfort instead of running from it. Do not seek refuge in the comforts of closed-minded perspectives. Only by doing this can we truly contribute to society and create the world we all wish to see. Thank you.